Hi, welcome to this month's yoga segment, 30 minute yoga segment with the yoga coach. I'm Linda Black, your host. And today I have brought a friend with me, Chris Ann Charles, who will be demonstrating the class. We're gonna work on the throat chakra, opening the heart, the shoulders, and getting looser in the shoulders today. So I wanna take a minute and help you get grounded with the right whales. So a great oil for today's class would be lavender or frankincense, and today we've chosen frankincense, so I'm going to just put a little bit on your neck would be great, so just on the sides, each side of the neck, just to kind of help open up the throat chakra area, and the throat, and the reason I, I picked this is just, it's Thanksgiving. And we're all in deep gratitude for the things that we have. And I wanna be able to encourage you to be in deep gratitude vocally. So to be able to speak your truth and to be able to speak and communicate to those around you how much you appreciate them. And I appreciate Chrisanne for agreeing to come today. That's one way of just speaking your truth is being able to say I love you and to the people around you and to be able to say I appreciate what you do for me. Okay, so we're going to start in child's pose. And that would be Chrisanne. I'm going to sit just a little bit behind her. In child's pose and center with the breath, this deep ujjayi breath. In through the nose and out through the nose. And with your forehead touching the floor, just connect with the earth. Give a little prayer of gratitude and thanksgiving for what you have. Wherever it is that you're practicing, the mat, the room, the time that you have available to do this, give a little prayer of gratitude. And then take that breath into the back body. So where the kidneys reside here, see if you can puff that area of the body and just give a good deep breath. So you're moving the breath from the belly around to the back side to incorporate a full expression of the breath. What are you most grateful for? I hope a hundred things come to mind. The air we breathe. If you can't think of anything to be grateful for, well, it's time to just start with, I'm grateful that I am here on my mat. To start little. So come into a hands and knees position and we'll take a cat cow. You know a regular cat cow is inhale and you're going to extend the chest forward into um, an arch back. And that's the cat. This is the cat. So exhale into a rounding. Inhale, that's the arch into cow. And exhale, rounding the cat. Inhale into Beautiful. Exhale into cat. Then we're going to reverse the inhalation and exhalation and do a, what I call lion's breath. So this time as you come into cow, I want you to take an out breath. And then inhale into cat. Draw the navel to the spine. And then on this exhale, stick your tongue out. Make bright eyes where you can even roll your eyes towards your nose and uh, do a lion's breath. So it's good. And then inhale, exhale, lion's breath. Inhale, exhale, lion's breath. One more time. Inhale, exhale, lion's breath. Awesome. Then just come to a neutral spine here, um, softening the heart, good, and lifting the head, lift the belly and the rib cage so you have a neutral low back. 
We're going to start with some sun salutations, classic, in downward facing dog. So we'll bring her uh, Chrisanne into downward facing dog. And we'll start with just bringing the right leg forward in between the hands. So you're going to take a giant step forward and help the leg come forward if it doesn't come all the way forward the first time. Gently set the back knee to the floor. And if you have um, knee issues, you can always bring a nice blanket underneath the knee or double your mat up. And then keeping the hands on the floor, just lifting the chest and taking an in-breath. A couple of deep breaths here. Turning the, toe, the back toe under will also help keep you lighter on the back knee. Does that help? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. And then bring the hands up to the thigh. Pull the waistline or ribcage back yeah. and get really tall. That's beautiful. And then plant both hands to the floor. We're going to bring the right leg back to meet the left and do Ashtangasana. This is eight limb path. So toes on the floor, knees, hands, chest and chin. And this is an exhale. So your gaze is going to be upward a little bit. The chest and chin comes to the floor. Elbows hugging into the sides. Good. Right into low cobra. I call that stink bug pose too because the butt is going to be raised. And then exhale back into downward facing dog. And Chrisanne's doing a really nice job of strengthening her arms as she goes through that to the downward facing dog. Then we'll step with the same leg forward. So right leg's going to lead. I'm sorry, left leg. Let's go left leg, sorry. Going to lead forward. Back knee gently to the floor. We're out of sync because I didn't start correctly with our sun citation. That's okay though. Place both hands on the thigh. Lift the chest. And the gaze for Dristi is going to be just vertical, or I'm sorry, just horizontal along the lines of the horizon looking out. And if you want to take or tilt that gaze a little bit up, you could start to look upward. And the bend in is going to be deeper in the low back, allowing the shoulders to open more. Beautiful. That's a full expression of the, the pose. And then bring the hands to the floor and step the back foot forward. So you'll lift the knee, stepping forward, and dropping the leg underneath. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, round the head down and in. You want to align the hips right over the heels. So I'm going to have her move or shift the weight forward into the balls of the feet a little bit more. Good, now roll up slowly with slight bend in the knees and brushing the top at the front of the body. I'm just going to roll up one vertebra at a time. When you get to the top, I'm going to have Chris Ann just bring the shoulders up to your ears, back and down. So a nice full open heart. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Awesome. Exhale, take a forward fold. Palms together, straight down the middle. Keeping the hips over the heels. Beautiful. Inhale to a flat back. Now this one's going to move a little bit faster with the breath. Exhale, step the right leg back. We'll be leading with the right leg each time. Giant step back. Gently bring the knee to the floor. You can double your mat or use a um, blanket. Inhale, take the hands to the thigh. Or you can bring one arm up. That's be your right arm, yes. Good, and then exhale, both hands to the floor. Step back to meet. Both knees to the floor, Ashtangasana, eight limb path or eight limb pose. All right, inhale to low cobra. Nice, exhale downward facing dog. You get the idea. Right leg forward between the hands. If it doesn't quite come all the way, help it forward. Back knee jump into the floor, hands to the thigh. Inhale, stretch up, reach up, left arm up and over. As you exhale, good. And both hands to the floor. Lift the back knee, step up and and take the hips high as you step forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, wrap it down and in. I'm going to run the camera here and we'll take this twice more. Inhale all the way up, bringing the hands up the thighs. Shoulder roll. 
up and back. Good. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, palms together, right down the middle. Forward fold, keeping the hips right over the heels. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, step back with the right leg into your low lunge, back knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms behind you and around. So this is a full expression. If you want to take the arms overhead, you can also keep the hands on the thigh. Exhale, keep the arms going all the way forward and um, down to the floor. So just going to a nice big circle. Left leg steps back. Keep the knees on the floor. Ashtangasana. Inhale to low cobra. Nice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg steps forward. Back knee gently to the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms behind and around. Reaching up, full expression, chest wide open. What are you thankful for? Yes, arms down to the floor. Lift the back knee and step forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise up one vertebra at a time. Let's just take the softening of the knees. We'll do that one more time. Shoulder roll. Good, inhale, stretch the arms overhead. And exhale, take a forward fold. Inhale, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step back, right leg. Inhale, sweep the arms back and up. All the way around. As you exhale, keep both knees on the floor and just step the left knee to meet the right. So you're going to bring it, match it to it. It's helpful to pull the hips back so you can loosen up the knee. And then lower down, Shatter, or, um, Ashtangasana. Into your low cobra. That looks like an inchworm, doesn't it? I love it. Into downward facing dog. So the inchworm keeps his bum lifted and then kind of pushes it down as the, the opposite side goes up. Right leg forward in between the legs. Back knee to the floor. Sweep the arms back and around. Heart wide open. Exhale, hands to the floor. Good. Uttanasana as you step the back foot in. You lift the hips. Push off. So a flat back. Inhale, exhale, round it down and in. And then again, draw the hands up slowly to a standing position. Good. And then we're going to come back down to your knees. So you're just going to take one leg down and then the other and do some fun stuff here. You could stay standing. I'm going to have, um, actually, why don't you do this part standing? Yes? Let's stand up and do the half moon so it's easier on your knees. So you could take a kneeling position. I'm going to actually have Chris Ann take a standing position because I could work the camera. I forgot about that. Take the arms overhead on an inhale. Good. Exhale over to your right. So the palms are going to be together. And then she's going to go over to the right. Yes. This is, uh, I call it Bikram's half moon because you're basically um, extending in a half moon shape with the arms and legs. I'm going to see if I can get a better picture here. Awesome. Inhale back to center. Exhale over to your left side. Inhale to center. Let's just go side to side, take, really stretching the side body. Exhale to the, the right. Yep. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. And she's having to mirror. Inhale, center. Good. Exhale. Let's bring the hands down to your side. And we'll take a back half moon. So hands at your... Um, just behind the waist. Fingertips can be up or down. I'm going to show you this part. So the hands could be around the waist to the side or the fingertips could be facing up. Can you show that? 
that's pointing down. So fingertips pointing down and fingertips pointing up. So that's pretty hard if you've got tight shoulders, fingertips up is hard on the wrist. So take whatever is comfortable for you. Fingertips down. This way. Yes, I like that. Squeeze and hug the elbows. Lift the chest. Now I'm gonna have Chris Ann get really strong and sturdy in the legs. So really press down through the feet. Let the hips come forward, yes but the thighs are gonna still be reaching back and then she's just gonna tuck the tailbone so it's reaching towards the floor. So she's got a long low back. Lift the sternum to the sky, really deep breath in. Exhale, hug and squeeze your elbows together. Oh, nice, so you're just holding for about five breaths here. Beautiful job. Good, and then squeeze the um, Front side of the body to come out of this, to lift up, you're gonna engage the abs, like how she's doing that, come up slowly. Ah, and that should be easy on your back. Now we're gonna take gate pose. If you've got um, tender knees, you're gonna place a block under each knee. <sighs> so you wanna grab a block behind you and let's have you kneel on both blocks. about the shakiness of this. And then we'll take the, um, the right leg out first. And this is sort of similar to the half moon shape, but it's called gait and we're kneeling. So we're gonna hold this posture for a little bit of time. Take the left arm up and over with the right hand on the thigh. Excellent. And just hold. Now what you want to be really careful with is that you protect your low back. So you see, I'm going to have her just pull that rib cage in, yes. And then as you stretch up and over, you get long through the side body. Yeah, and super strong through the inner ball and um, heel of this foot. So you're pressing down into the floor so the thigh can lift up. Yeah, awesome. And then switch to the other side. So Christina's using a little block here because this block is softer than the hard floor. A blanket works, um, a flat pillow works, anything works. And take your left, uh, right arm up and over. We're mirroring. Pull the rib cage in. Yes, and her tailbone tucked towards the floor. So she's supporting the spine by keeping the girdle here tight. I love it. Oh. Mm. Deep breath in. I love the deep blue that we're using today. This is also the color of the throat chakra. Deep blue, matte, and deep blue in her shirt too. Come back to center. Awesome. And then take both the kneeling stance. Now we're going to have her sit back on her heels. So this is going to require a second block. And we'll put that, position it so it's right between the ankles. So she's going to shift, come a little bit wider, and then sit back on that block. So it's very easy. And then interlace the fingers and take the back of the hand to the top of the head. Okay, and I'm gonna just demonstrate how I want you to energize this. So you're gonna press the sit bones into the block and then push up into your, the back of your hand. And I'm giving her a little resistance so she knows how to push up into. I want your head to push up into me rather than the hands. There we go, so we get some length here. Now, on an in breath, keeping the fingers interlaced, you're just gonna come up about two inches. So I'm gonna show her how high, so you're gonna come up and touch my hand. Yes, and then press, like you're pressing up, I'm giving her resistance, hold the shoulder blades down the back, good, rib cage in. Again, two more inches, inhale, so you come a little higher. Exhale, hold the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, a little bit longer. Exhale, hold the shoulder blades down the back. This should be pretty tough right now. Inhale, straighten the arms all the way. Good, and then she's getting a lot of space here by pulling the shoulder blades down the back. So show the opposite. What does it look like when you scooch? Yeah, I don't want that. I want the shoulder blades long and coming down the back. 
upper shoulders, long neck. One more breath. Good, and then release. Bring the arms back down. Oh, shoulder roll that out. Okay, we're going to do one more of those. This is just going to help open up the shoulders and this whole neck area, right? And the chakra. We're going to do some really yummy stuff with the chakra. So again, interlace the fingers. Bring the back of the hand to the top of the head. Sit up nice and tall. So you're firming out the whole girdle. And let's have you take a side view. Let's do it from the side this time. So the folks can see what's going on. Perfect. So same thing, hands on top of the head. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, press about two inches up. So you're straightening the elbows, starting to straighten the elbows. Make sure you point the rib cage in. So you can see she's got a lot of length in the low back. It's not overly arched. Can you show overly arched? Yes, that's in collapse. Now pull the ribcage back. Yes, there we go. Press the arms a little straighter. Exhale, drop the shoulder blades down the back. Nice V shape here, so it's coming towards the back of the heart. Inhale, stretch up. Good, exhale, pull the shoulder blade down the back. Hold it there, inhale, press the arms straighter. Good, exhale, shoulder blade down the back, and you're doing a great job. One more breath, inhale, ribcage in, long, and then exhale, go ahead and release. Shoulder row again. That's intense. Yes? Let's just take a downward facing dog and see how that feels now. After all that intensity. Now move the block. <sighs> okay. And then I'm going to have uh, Chrisanne just step her feet to her hand and take a seat. We're going to go all the way back onto your back. Uh, let's point your feet up. So your head's, you got it. Roll down gently. Nice. And we'll just do some pelvic tilt. So you're going to bend the knees. And on an inhale, you're going to let the low back raise up. And on the exhale, you're going to um, take all that space out by um, tucking the pelvis. So this is a pelvic tilt. Inhale, roll, press into the sacrum. Exhale, press into the low back. Yes, inhale. And in this you can use this as an abdominal strengthener if you're moving from the belly. So on the inhale, you release the belly, let the belly, let it rise. On the exhale, pull from the uh, pelvic floor to the navel, in towards the floor. Do just a couple more. Awesome. And then we'll come to a neutral spine. And untuck. Yeah, release a little bit more. And then lift the hips into bridge. So in bridge, you want to make sure the shoulder blades are coming underneath you. And I would like to bend at the elbow like robot arms and then press the back of the arm into the floor. And that helps Chris Ann get a little more space underneath the shoulders. So it's not about getting the hips up, it's actually about getting the chest towards the chin and the knees forward so that the middle part just floats. So she's got really strong strength in the legs, not so much in the glute, and the chest towards the chin. This puts a little pressure on the thyroid or your fifth chakra, your communication voice box. It activates or uh, let's see, it helps the thyroid do its job, so it activates the thyroid. And then you're going to lower back down. Okay, and for this next one, um, you don't need anything, just your hands interlaced, and you're making kind of a triangle shape. You're going to place that in the belly, on the belly, and then move it in a circular motion to massage the tummy. And if you've done my, my digestion 30 minute video, we, we did this. Slow it down and then reverse it and get right into the internal organs. So you're just giving them a really nice massage. 
Another thing I like to do is just to take the hands underneath the ribs and give it a little squeeze. So I'm just kind of pinching at the top. Yeah. And then move it and pinch outward. So you're going to start at the top of the sternum, base of the sternum, top of the rib cage, and then start to move out and just give a little pressure just to release some of those internal organs. It feels really good. I like that. And then we're going to go into half shoulder stand. Now, supported shoulder stand is done with a block. I'll show this first. So I'm going to have um, Chris Ann lift her hips. Uh, keep your feet on the floor, lift the hips. And then we'll place the, the block underneath the hips. So it's very grounding, right? Now I'll take just one leg at a time up. Right leg and then left. And if it's vertical, so if she's got a vertical line, and you can just kind of manage to uh, release, relax there. Okay, that's supported shoulder stand. What the shoulders are doing are pressing into the floor, much like bridge. So sometimes that the chest can collapse. Can you show that? Yeah, chest collapsing, we don't want that. So the chest lifting towards the chin and getting some space here. Especially when you go into shoulder stand, helps, again, activate the thyroid. And that's where we're really wanting to put more of the pressure. Now to take this into a half shoulder stand, you could stay here, or you can bring the knees right over the nose, and then support with the hands underneath the hips. So you're just going to lift a little bit. Keep the knees bent. This is half shoulder stand right here. And notice how Chris Ann is supporting now, not with the block, but with the hands underneath the hips. Full shoulder stand, I'm not going to show you. It would be just straightening the legs if you're practiced um, yogi and you want to do the full shoulder stand, that's fine. It takes a lot of flexibility in the shoulders and in the neck and in the back. So I just caution you to do what feels comfortable. Okay, from half shoulder stand, we've been here about five breaths. You're going to extend the legs towards the floor. And I'm going to bring a block behind here so she's got somewhere to set her toes onto. So that's half shoulder, or this is flat. Even deeper into the chakra, uh, the throat chakra. So when we're coming out of this, I want you to be able to shout at the top of your lungs, I'm so thankful for you, for whatever it is you're thankful for. We want to have this area wide open, communication, be able to speak your truth. And if you could have somebody's attention and you were in front of hundreds of people, what would be your truth? What would you be speaking? Okay, just think about that. So coming back into half shoulder stand, bend the knees. And then we're going to roll down back onto the block into supported shoulder stand. And then bend the knees and come all the way down. And we're going to keep the block underneath the hips and go right into um, fish. So fish is, again, you're going to use those robot arms. Press the elbows into the floor and then lift the chest as you look back. So this time, the chest actually comes all the way off the, the Floor, I'm sorry, the shoulders, the whole upper back is off of the floor. So her gaze is um, kind of diagonally towards the back wall, uh, wide open through the throat chakra area. Then knees can stay bent, and this is a modified fish posture. It's also a lovely, juicy, passive back bend. I love, love, love it. You can practice this any time of the day as a heart opener, get you in joyful gratitude, and next month we have a, a more joyful, playful practice that I want to introduce to you. So tune into that one for December. So about five to 10 breaths in fish pose. This is a great counter pro stretch to clap as well. And then gently you're gonna roll back down Tuck the chin, lift the hips to release the block. And then take an easy, uh, knees into the chest, and we'll just do an easy release for the back. 
easy side twist around here. So if you have a blockage in, I don't know if you guys can see me, let me come around to the other side. So she's just twisting to the right, and then let me twist to the left. The throat chakra, if you've got blockages in, in the throat area, this can be an indication uh, you might have a cold all the time or difficulty in expressing feelings. I know that happens to me. Sometimes I just clam up or shut up. Um, communication problems and shoulder and arm problems. This stretch that we did here for the shoulders and arms can help open up those blockages. So if, you're, if it's uncomfortable to do that and opening up those blockages, releases some emotion or feeling. Just know that that is your throat chakra balancing and welcome it. So come back to it, knees together. A healthy open throat chakra is going to be in deep gratitude and be able to be thankful for so many things and express that in ways that are kind and loving and even express your opinions to others without harshness to it. So that's a good practice for this month. We'll leave you in Shavasana. Ah, just scoot you this way a little bit on your mat. Bring this leg in. Not your torso. Oh, yeah, you're just a little bit of kitty corner. So get comfy in your Shavasana. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in. Let it out with a sigh. Ah. Yeah, listen to your throat. Inhale again. Exhale with a sigh. One more time, inhale, exhale with a sigh. Ah. So you kind of feel that vibration in the throat and then let yourself completely release and relax into the floor. If you have some soft music to play, awesome. I'll leave you with um, just the thought of open communication with those around you and especially with yourself. As you rest in Shavasana, look at how you're communicating with yourself. What comes up for you? <sighs> Pay attention to those tender thoughts so that you can nurture those in kindness towards yourself and towards others. And when you have the untruths, the, oh, I should have done this, or I could have done this, or I'm a bad person type thoughts come in. I want you to um, release those and say, hmm, that's an interesting thought. Is that my truth? Okay, just be inquisitive. Speak your truth and have a wonderful communicative day. Namaste.